and I just noticed these panels and we have a leak on this one uh, and I can see water piled up in the bottom and so it's leaking out of the frame Guys, let's go take a look. So inside here is fiberglass insulation and there's a puddle of water. So it looks like it's coming out of here. Yeah, this stuff's really hot. <laughs> oh, it's coming from the one next to it. Oh, ah, there, there you are. We found the leak. <laughs> Come on and get a close-up of that. <laughs> it looks like water got caught in there and is frozen, but, you know, that still begs the question to me of why, you know, when it's drained down, it's pitched, why would water get stuck in there? Does that mean it's just going to keep doing this over and over? Uh, you know, what's the answer here? Any ideas, Elena? <laughs> well, how long have these panels have been up? Um, almost two years. It's right? First time it's happened, so let's hope it's an anomaly and it's not. Yeah. All the pipes are still pitched, everything's still draining. Um, you know, nothing is sloped the wrong way here. So why would water get trapped in this? And I have a, a theory that I wanna check. Maybe some sediment or something got trapped right down in this little joint between the riser and the manifold and kind of is preventing the water from uh, dripping down and getting in here like quickly. It turned out there was nothing clogging that little orifice down there. There was no sediment or anything. So the water should be draining. And I, it still kind of was unclear to me how that could happen, that it was getting Copper stuck. Copper sweat coupling. But one person, Kevin, thank you, uh, suggested that it was due to the surface tension uh, inside the pipe. That water was kind of still stuck in there because of capillary uh, action or surface tension. And that's the only thing that really seems to make sense. Uh, so that's the best thing I can go on. Thanks, guys. I'm trying to solder the end of the pipe here. It wound up leaking 
uh, when I pressurized the pipe. So I cut off that little snubby part and soldered the manifold directly. I've been cleaning up this channel which had some silicone still in it and on the bottom I've been cleaning it up because there's some solder in here and I'm almost done. Uh, this is the last little bit of solder to get up. I picked up this caulking in order to seal uh, this edge just like it was before. Uh, I didn't know exactly which caulking to get so I got one that's advertised for windshields. So this is 3M 08693 it says auto glass urethane windshield adhesive so I hope that'll work well urethane adhesive there's a groove here that the glass doesn't actually sit in. It's a little U-shaped groove and I filled that with the urethane. The glass actually sits on top of this little ledge. I hope windshield adhesive uh, is the right stuff for this because I don't know. And this rubber gasket is going to go around the outside and I cleaned the rubber gasket of all the old silicone that used to be on here. I'm getting this rubber gasket onto the edges I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do that alone, but pulled it off. Now I can go plug the pump back in downstairs, and next time we have a sunny day, we'll get some more hot water. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.